Okay, so uh, square mirror. Yep. This will uh, be interesting. Yeah. Well, we've seen. If I'm not missing here, Angulim in Denirai's list and Magpa is playing Mahagam Pass, so the target has been acquired. Yeah, I appreciate the default uh, leader skins by both players. Uh, Wilson is in chat and he is disappointed, but uh, th this is the story of uh, many pro players defaulting into the pillar of Andral every time. I, yeah, it's it's such a shame. Very, very tall Hamadryad with all this vitality. Um, How many tall punishes are there? Only Igni, right? Just to me. Yeah. Yeah. And, um, yeah, like the only real way you'd be able to damage through this um, Hamadryad is with a significant leader commitment. But, uh, that seems quite unlikely to actually occur here. Bounce full harvest, getting some nice carry over onto the Force Protector. Dragoon being used just to get a bit of friendly movement going. Pyrotechnician setup. It's. I'm sure it'll just deal damage to something. Once again, we see players playing uh, non committal bronzes and playing quite fast. No Oakwen, not even Tempest in being committed here. And yeah, Magpie should be aware of the potential Igni incoming. At the moment, his back row is exactly at 25. But yeah, here we go. Doc actually providing the back row value for the Doc. Yeah, I think. Is Magpie just looking for a tempo pass here? Seems like it. Maybe. Why is everyone banning Wii? Because you are not using the correct... Ah, wait, you are using the correct mode. Then I don't know, they're just being rude. No, no passing. Nice value on this uh, reset. Of the tree end and killing yeah, the order. And there we go. No need to tempo pass when you can just play another bronze and win the round. Yeah, so uh this Oshwin is most likely just gonna be killed by um a Kyronex if it's found. Double break is this is looking sketchy. Uh but now you know okay. what to mulligan. Sometimes uh, when I'm playing Gwent I'm confused what do I actually mulligan? From those. Oh, uh, wow. Look, draws been... into the Kyronex on the yeah. final mulligan. That's really, really important. Because um, if you do decide to bleed with the uh, Orshan here, which it looks like it might be the case, um, you really need to answer that immediately, and uh, Kyronex is the way to do so. Yeah. Uh, do you. Do you want to? Do you maybe just thin your leader out if you if you see Orkwen? If you want to avoid the breaks? Yeah, that's fair. Yeah, you could just use like a skirmisher and some leader charges even, that would be fine as well. But that's like just one of the ways of dealing that and preventing the the waste of the buff from the unicorn. And chill fire but, but thanks like for the you... follow. Sorry? I I feel like you kind of want to preserve your leaders to be able to answer like some of these fledglings or some of these other sort of smaller engines as well. Okay, so the squirrel goes for the harvest here. Yep. Eating all the yeah, wood store, stores from the harvest. There we go. Okay, so the bricks uh, coming back for both players. Not really amazing card that Peller is, but maybe. Ah, yeah, there was there was a break on a break on a break. So 
propeller. Purifying some vitality is not it's even that that big of a brick. But uh, on the other side of things, uh, Magpie has missed a few things. Mahakam Pass is not found, Eskel is not found. Mm. And uh, note that it's called the forest can only find the Nye Pond Keeper because Eskel is not a neutral card. Sorry, Eskel is not a Skoyato card, he is neutral. Yeah, so both players missing uh, like two two big cards in in six seven cards left in the deck <laughs> plus then you're yeah, right, they're finding both, a brick. <laughs> they're both missing their toll punish and uh, artifact basically. Uh, however, Renfrey could do some shenanigans to yeah. potentially draw into something. Also, the unicorn Kyronex could draw into a gold. So uh. Not the end of the world for Danarai. That's an early. Uh, wait, yeah, that's not a seamless. That's a uh, fourth. So yeah, we can we can uh, witness some leadering or ho horsing around. Happening. Uh, if you want to kill the Hamadrat, but not really a necessity. Mm. Potentially, and yeah, we we'll see. We see Daniel opting into just playing a berserker here. Now, Orkman is probably a card that you want to deal with. Yes, I would agree. And uh, okay, why don't we switch so... with the leader as well? Yeah. Yeah, basically signals there's the break. But, uh, yeah. This information about big brick being present is not as devastating as losing two engines in one go. Oh yeah, for sure. So mm. it Pretty needed, needed to be done. It's also an annoying card to see your opponent play, like knowing that more nature cards ain't coming. And it's just going to be generating vitality. Gets out of hand pretty quickly. Yeah, and um... Yes, yeah, so you can answer it with a Kyronex here. Draws the Oxen for Scholar. Probably the second worst draw you could have gotten there. Yeah. So, yeah, sometimes thinning is not winning too much, but yeah, we we, we see double Renfrey gank, we see Sentinels being thinned out in round 3, so, of course, that's it, and even, like, Eudora was kitted out, but at least Eudora is kitted out hiddenly, with, with, with no break potential, yeah. so, that's, that's the design we have to have for every card that is breakable. There we go. Just make them banished. Uh, so Saskia should stick here. Yeah, with unless the... Renfri rolls an answer. Which without Rune Mage, there's a. Is it 50 50 ish chance? Oh, it's literally. Uh, it's, it's a bit more than But yeah, the, double the points here, the but at the same time, now, well, the more explosive cards uh, on Magpie's side of the board at the moment. So, Hella able to get rid of that Symbiosis tag. Um, now it's the Saskia, probably the Renfrey in response. Ooh. So damage the entire board those... or destroy uh, yeah. eight. So both of those 
pretty decent. Play your lowest unit is uh, not really brilliant. So yeah, we see just the options uh, with the damage being taken. And fell the tanks for the raid. Welcome everyone into the final game number one. Between Denirai and Magpie. Welcome, welcome. Nice death blur. So, you always were an unruly uh, child. A big point that, that double uh, Inquinox is incoming, but that's only like 25 points. So, not exactly enough. And Squirtle control wins over the. Or, like, partially control wins over the. Yeah. Nature's gift. Yeah. So, more like nature's gifting the wind to uh, Denerite. I have proof of that crazy content. We see Erland uh, going against Nilfgaardian Empire. Uh, Nilfgaard doesn't really have too many things to deal with Erland as well, right? Yeah, this is... Yeah, not so much. However... The, they can put out quite a lot of assimilate engines in a long round, and that actually is a lot of engine value which can sort of outpoint in Erland. Um, it's actually quite an interesting matchup. Ah, Mulligan in into Shoop, so your <clears throat> neutrals are already present. Pretty nice hole for Denirai, Radea, Shoop, Rune Mage. And uh, okay. yeah, Iris's companion as well, so basically got everything from the neutrals. Yep, I think this is an early Taurus. Uh, what is Taurus marking? Probably Ansays. And uh, Gala? Legacy. I guess. Immortalized. Uh, easier to see here, so we see Anseis, we see Iris, one ever and a priestess, and a priestess. Okay. Holly. And st let's start generating some carryover, says Danny Rai, starting with the squire. I shall not repeat Emir's mistakes. And this is only, only the beginning. For the queen! Bronze into a bronze, so uh, we got the grace uh, achieved as well. <coughs> Sorry. Um, so after Calvid, there is not much of a choice for this Imperial Marine. Starting Jeez. working as an engine, there is another one in hand. That's a pretty talented uh, Dero as well. Yeah, like, look, the thing is, Denerai hasn't played tempo and is already starting to fall behind tempo-wise, especially with the second marine. So, uh... Yeah. If Magpie can get a very opportune pass here to either say, okay, if you want to, like, bleed me or something you need to not play temple phase one yeah point or wise. if you want to play temple you're going to be going down at least two cards yeah temple wise and temple wise it wasn't great but now we have the temple in and uh well you don't have you have a bronze to give the zeal to sell kirk but that's not really reliable. Philippa should be all right. So yeah, Philip is just sketchy because of Kieran. It's also a pretty good spy target, but yeah, I think it still makes sense to take. Yeah, so Philippa, Adelia, and 
Selkirk. Selkirk was taken, yeah. Maybe you can combine it with the siege support. Maybe even in this round. Like if you if you play siege support or the carry over radio. Yeah, I I think basically all your ten provisions apart from Radovid are in hand already, so you don't get that much extra carryover. So this could just be a pass for Danarai to basically say, okay, you have to go two cards down to catch up here. Um, and even then, probably four provision bronze is unlikely to be enough here, because these marines are taking for four points each turn. Like, yeah, sure, you get one point on your century knight per turn, but that kind of doesn't really matter compared to these marines. Those land lobbers ain't got nothing on the Imperial Navy. And yeah, there we go. Pass. And you are six, what, nine? You need a ten here. Roommate should make it. Yeah. This is quite nice as well, because it's a chance to play Rune Mage without letting uh, the Assimilate have an opportunity to put spying onto it. Because this is a very, very good spying target. So many Assimilate procs coming from a Terra Nova all at once. Uh, is it enough, doing... though, without a leader charge? Yeah, point that's parts. the maths. Oh, okay, so we, we get a River Sky. Yeah, that that's uh, cheeky. Okay. That works as well. Yeah, that's a couple of extra points. Uh -oh. Not bad, not bad. Mm, so winning round by four. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, they needed the that little play to save a leader there, so very well played. Because yeah, you did not really want to use the leader there because you had all your your hand was full of gold, so you weren't really getting an extra gold as carryover. Yes, there's the Philippa. Philippa could be quite scary towards the start of a round. Like if you try to open like a Vigo as a simulate, Philippa yeah. just clean it all up. But if she gets mulliganed, maybe scared of the crew, scared of put, having yeah. spying put on Philippa. She is known to change sides a bit, isn't she? Yeah, so if you are trying to set up your Erland in a shorter round and uh, your other cards getting like stolen and stefaned, then you are Seems doable. in some troubles. We also see that uh, being a card down is no problem here for Danerai continues to yeah. push. And yeah, as we talked about, uh, not much you can do about the big Erland. So might be forcing some things out if Danirai decides to to play Erland in this round. Yeah, I'm a bit concerned because I really I don't know what short round um Magpie is gonna have here. Like there was already there was a decent amount of mutual generator value obtained in that round one already. Yeah, we see Curse Knight being at uh, at ten as a confirmation of that. Okay, so we have the Arturius opener here, but uh, he's he's basically the sole engine, although siege engine, siege, siege tower kinda classifies as that as well, but that Philippa wouldn't be doing too much and you are relying on high roll to deal with the Artorius, so yeah. Between yeah, avoiding I mean, getting spying on it and just her yeah. playing for eleven, not that great. But sh surely you have faith in the players um threading the needle of RNG and obtaining the high roll. Yeah, uh, look for to use on the Radovid, probably trying to just deny an extra tutor in case Denarai is missing stuff in his hand. Make it a little bit awkward. 
does Pluridanian Agent, which I guess can start getting even more deck boosts going. Not a terrible copy target, I guess. Mm, not sure. Well, yeah. Now that you also got to Cynthia and Envoy, you can buff something like Fall City and uh, nah. What is the best strange move you can do there? I like boosting Fall City, able to get her across in one turn. Because, uh, yeah, like this Cursed Knight can. Um, yeah, transform it. Counter the Fall City. I mean, if you're able to boost her enough. Uh, you need to get her to like five straight away. Uh, that's pretty hard to do, yeah, though. Yeah, that's uh, with the cooldown too. Not really feasible. Yeah. Okay, we see the Brattens, and uh, you don't really need another envoy. So here we are. Redanian agent being uh, an agent true to its uh, profession description, joining both sides. Trading information, getting secrets out. But which side is the Redanian agent truly working for? I guess we'll have to wait till the end of round three to see who truly is um, their master, who they have sworn allegiance to. So. Yeah, then I shouldn't be too happy being two cards down. No. Uh, so something has to be done about that yeah. predicament. You could. Yeah. There's the Cursed Knight now. The Force Series is completely safe for Magpie. <coughs> so, are we, are we seeing yeah. all in or not? Well, next turn will determine that and whether yeah. the Erland is dropped or not. Um, I'm. I'm not doing the points. There are some. It's uh, like bu buffing by three on quite a few units, yeah. and there is what eleven units available. Ooh. So that's a lot. Yeah, floating the ancestors is quite nice with this boo hurt coming up. Um, yeah, that's a massive duel. Lock or damage. I mean, lock would really be the best play there. Um, alternatively, you could just unsace it, but that feels like a waste. I quite like that unsace back row there. Like, yeah, you're kind of losing potentially four points on the order, but like, if they kill the unsace, then like the siege tower should live, so it's kind of worthwhile, anyways. Yeah, and staying ahead is cute as well. So, the decision time. Being a card down while pushing into a preserved and slave leader, I don't think yeah. you go for, for an all in. You got something out of your opponent, like two assimilate engines gone. The gold engines, that is. But you, you, you lost extra cards, so. Yeah. I mean, the full theory can't be dealt with now, right? No. And she's a two power, like, cute. Yeah. Yeah, full theory, brew her, no curse knight on the opposite side. Uh, I guess, do you care about the Isis companions here for a simulate? Would you rather get either an informant or a. Yeah, I don't think you really wanted the informant okay. here. Uh, looking at the hand at the moment, this informant is uh, not too good. Guards, rightful empress. <clears throat> interesting, interesting. So I doubt we'll see an early Philip one. Like, not, not uh, to deal with the battering ram, but uh, no. yeah. You kind of don't want to board. risk anything. Yeah. Um, 
Uh, what is this Selkirk doing? <coughs> like, it, is that not just like a prime leader? Can you do anything Nothing. about it with the bronzes? Not really. Well, there is a Cadwini surgeon, but there is also Stefan yeah. that uh, erases all your efforts, basically. I think. Yeah, that might be a Selkirk's uh, adventure for this game. At the same time, well, Cadvini Revenant can be stolen as well. But at the moment you cannot really play your Stefan. Yeah, um, and still in non and Pasha are mentioning a shoot mages the correct play here. You're able to get the 13 damage, you kill the battering ram, but you also kill the full Siri. And the full Siri is basically just gonna be so many points on the opponent side of the board in combination with the Bruja. So maybe you're not expecting the Bruja to be there, but yeah. yeah. <laughs> this is like a call for Philippa at the moment and yeah. it's getting taken. So, she's available for coup de gras now. I'm sure what the reasoning was for going for the Revenant there. Like, is it just meant to be good in case the informant gets played? Um, I would have thought something like a Kedwani Sergeant is still kind of just better. There's the floated answers. Very nice with the boo hurt. Oh. Maybe would have preferred to see that come down a little later just to try and force out either like the answers or the shoot earlier. So the leader charge is just there for two points, right? Yeah. Uh, yeah. So Selkirk trying to make a comeback, but <laughs> after the rehearsals he's getting sent back into the deck? No, not his day. He tried though. Suffering? Our suffering us. Okay, so enough units around. And also, like, pretty bad uh, if you hit your whole city, so yeah. We're not seeing Philippa snipe in this, uh, in this game. No high rolls allowed. That's... yeah. I'm a bit surprised you go for the boo hurt there over the, um... Like sergeant, I would have uh, maybe, yeah. I guess it makes sense actually. Just you're worried about um, not giving a too big target for the enemy answers, uh, and uh, you would be forced to brew her like a turn after, I think, because of the false Siri Grace trigger um, almost occurring. Shoop looking to see a false Siri would have been bad, right? Like, not bad, bad, but uh, you can also... Oh, should I look any... Yeah, okay, yeah. That, that's what I was checking. Maybe that was the line of thinking. And yeah, well, it's, been... it's not really too bad, if we are completely honest. Yeah, that would have been good for Dana, right? Getting that lock through. Yeah, I mean, false series shenanigans often do just come down to a game of chicken, it feels. Okay, there we have the, the unsays or nonsays. A fair fight, one would say, but in the duel only one survives. Shoot mage, so not feeling confident here. Could just go for transform, transform the staff on. Uh, yeah, but there is a cool on Philippa anyway, so. Try to go for a ship C's. Hope you roll the one in nine to hit the revenant. Yeah, 
This is Danny Ray's last competitive uh, match, so you can go for, for an extra spice in a situation where uh, you are alternatively. I'm pretty sure the correct play is to go for the spice here because I don't think he has the reach otherwise. Mm. Okay, just... um, so this volunteer actually volunteered for. <laughs> We're going to New God and yeah, checking was... how, how is it. But uh, yeah, Magpie takes a win here. Takes a volunteer, takes a win. I think he's mostly happy about the win though, not the volunteer. <laughs> Perhaps they do. So, Gift versus Ren Free Soldiers, Magpie on blue. Uh, what do we have? A couple of bricks. And. Uh, okay. Improving his. Uh, his hand quite. Uh, quite significantly here. Yeah. Ooh, there's the Iris and their companions. She's feeling a little bit low. Yeah, a big house somewhere. And no companions to entertain ya. Yeah, what well, good is a mansion if you're stuck all alone? Early on. They're really gonna be fighting hard for the round control, opting to just establish your engines. If you're able to play these engines, like they have with like their actual power and armor combined, they're above five. They're safe from rebukes, they should be safe from practically anything. The main exception is that the uh, semi tall triads could be used with a Nyad Pond Keeper. Offensively to get a kill. But, uh, yeah, there's the Orshan four star. Yeah. Four star by turn two. That's what Ramon Light Cavalry yeah. does for you. Notably, there is no uh, Purify in hand. And so, uh, also not yeah. sure how, how happy are you about purifying something that can just eat the Vilge ports. I mean, I have to mm, find to purify okay. that. Yeah. Like... I mean, okay, like, what the alternative is, if you had a Dryad's Crest, you would hit, like, a two-power Treant. Then it's basically the same, like, yeah. you only sort of lose a couple points and you threaten, you get the Vilgar, I think it would be fine. Um... Iris. I wonder if we'll see Tempest coming down soon. Could potentially try to knock a bit of this armor off the light cavalries. Okay, so we see no purify from this. Elven Seal would have been so good. Actually, it wouldn't have been because you just play a second light cavalry and kill the Elven Seer. <laughs> Never mind. Theoretically, it's amazing though. Yes. And. That would have cost you a leader charge to try to keep it alive, so no. We see that the near fight is dying, but that uh, that's uh, that's it for Danny Rice uh, round one. He finds the pass button, gets his uh, iris into the graveyard, and now companions uh, come in looking for the iris. Yeah, that's a bit too late, and nobody's taking a risk anymore. Trying to fish for a gold, risking to discard something like a rent free. And we have uh, round two starting with 11 P card being dropped here. We see the Denirai skill. <laughs> I think we might just see the Simulus being used for the Dryad's Cresses here. <laughs> yeah. Think so? Yeah, maybe. Do I answer that immediately? No. 
Not a huge rush. Pyrotechnician is good here, I guess. Immediate six armor. Could knock four off, potentially threaten to kill onto Black Cavalry. Pretty solid. So, uh, blind maker, wasting no points, hitting a non armored and not one power unit, but uh, dropping back row and uh, hmm, the uh, magpie doesn't even go for the for the back row. Partly just there's so many more units in the front row, and partly just trying to ensure these light like, cavalries. <laughs> Require consistent input from the leader to get them out of range. Not sure how do I feel about buffing a one. I guess buffing Blight Maker into perfect. Uh, the rebuke is not ideal as well. I mean, I feel like... Simless here for Dryad's Crest to get the Purifying Sasuke would be very, very strong. Um. Yeah. You play the Equinox from hand, but shouldn't be a big deal and you are fueling your round two push uh, even further but no so able to say i'm ahead i gotta pass you've used a light cavalry you've used an uh, pikeman i'm actually more scared of your engines than my own or even you had to spend more engines this round than i did um, so, uh, yeah, toodaloo. I'm out of here. Go round three. Yeah, got yourself a Mahakam Pass as well. Back in line. Okay, so then you write values the reentry gang presence on the front row for that piece more than a slave driver in combination with Nausicaa. If that Nausicaa survives, of course, we see the SKL. And there are no guarantees for drawing since this is not a Calvit list, understandably. No. Ah, <laughs> just stop it. Get something to do in the day. Ah, and yeah, okay. Concentration of bricks somehow increased in this uh, winner takes all compared to the previous two. I guess buffs to flying Redanians and uh, whatnot made people to stuff more bricks into their decks. That's my only explanation. Maybe. <laughs> okay. Yeah. But at least you are unbreaking yourself, so that's a nice uh, yeah. might mighty roll. Yeah, you got your compo uh, companions back, but uh, your run for gank is separated once I mean, again. I, I guess companions are now just your finisher because you don't want to discard yeah. a random card. The odds of getting either rain free or triss is just way too high. Yeah, and you cannot really <laughs> go for that. But what a talent, really. Zoria in stone into a hand fix. Magpie doesn't know about that. But he should be impressed as well. Yes. I wonder if the these players like go back and watch through the VODs of these games. Yeah. Definitely quite a high roll there to unbrick and uh yeah, that can have huge consequences on the result of the game. Okay, 
So leader is fully out, no engines for you to protect and for rent free we go. What's your target? Well, you can destroy Hamadrite if you are afraid of that, but you have real gift for it. Can go for that. So right. Play your lowest provision unit. Um, might amass to something, but once again we see Danny Ray just going for damage into damage. I think that's second time mm. or may maybe even third time today. Of course, with the room mage, it's uh, it's quite semi semi reliable at the very least to yeah. hit those. Yeah, like this is so awkward. Like you, you want to put vitality on this hammer dried, but you know there's this field before it's still, um, which uh, is kind of staring you down the face. There might be a bit more of an opening now, though. A pleasure to bleed. Um, six, nine. I think it's fine. Choose the dried crest on the hammer dried now. Yeah. I believe which... you should only go like twelve. Or should you should get like nine effective boosts. Yeah, but can do that a bit later, so I guess uh, after the second, Nyad is landing. Oh yeah, for sure. Get all that symbiosis value. Yeah, I mean, you're not really giving a bigger toll punish, because whatever gets the Spring Equinox from Simulus is gonna be... Yeah, almost uh, as tall. Bigish, yeah. <laughs> yeah, there is the companion, so... You're going to have to like play the uh, yeah. build, build the ports <laughs> entries. So yeah, Magpie doesn't know that, but um, Daenerai actually has a dilemma and Perta loses at least some points here. That is a pretty big Triss. Yeah. Uh, Do you go yeah, for class. Forest Protector, mm. denying the yeah, okay, I like that. Just go for the harvest and keep it as low as 5-6 points. Yeah, everything is basically fine. I fast you're not able to get much value at all out of the deploy. But uh, it's good enough, I suppose. <laughs> not sleep on Kalora, it's all good. <laughs> Okay, so we actually see Ah, oh, 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 beautiful. The force is gone. Yeah. <laughs> How much of an improvement is it? Well, it was only burning a 5 and Aye. that that would have been a 10 point play, right? Yeah, so uh so not much. Symbiosis is fine. I think. Yeah. Looks like it. The gap is uh, narrower. Last time Symbiosis fell short. This oh time... yeah, it's a 6 point Simulus. Yeah. And there is like 4.3 and Vince spawn, so... <laughs> Somewhat yeah. a different There's story. A... Yeah, Pond Keepers, each just playing for Symbiosis, getting quite a lot of value. So, uh, I, think, I thought that was a really, really well played bleed, able to get a couple of the scary soldier engines out to start with whilst not going down a card and then just able to outpoint in that round three also by bleeding you do sort of shut down a little bit of the extra trust meteor shower value so i thought yeah that was masterfully executed by magpie there though but that does mean magpie's up to um series point just needs to get a win with warriors against Sterland. okay let's see yep it's a little rough Rough around the edges. Um, yeah, as Marsh says, like, there's no council votes this in-game season. It's kind of like a mini-season. They'll be going back to regular balance council stuff in the December season. Yeah, it's just no I, I, I had a council command for different purposes on my channel for like four years. 
uh, that must might, might be misleading under the council command. Uh, okay, so let's go. <laughs> Potentially a final game, but uh, theoretically not yet. And we see mutant generator found, uh, rune mage expanding the pool of those temple yes. creates potentially like, uh, likely a uh, temple to follow up here leader into the temple perhaps nope just opting to develop engines sure i guess you maybe not caring about actually clicking the temple this round you'd rather just click it round two so with that in mind, like, maybe there's no actual rush to play the temple, you can just establish your engines. Um, but we do see a leader here. So, temple is getting uh, a pickup, and potentially we might see a temple pull in uh, a companion, maybe? Goha um, is amazing, as always. Uh, Shani is doing something, putting targets. Okay, so we got double DJ. It's a party. Let's go. A bit of a party on the older side, double DJ and Gerhardt, but party nonetheless. Yeah. So, uh, hmm. we could also just see some discard shenanigans potentially happening in a long round three. I'll be interested to see that. Um, so this is, okay, yeah, the click here means that we're going all in here for Danarai, trying to establish as much carryover with this mission generator as possible. And I think you'll also be able to preserve the Squire click um, if you play like this turn. You'll be able to keep the to boost and potentially infuse the first unit you play in the round three. Yeah, and doesn't actually play the uh, round vid here. Instead, uh, just opts to maximize the muter boost onto yeah. the four How do you cards. feel about not playing Iris? Alright. Basically, playing the Iris earlier, sure, you get like a little bit more deck boosts. But you also do sacrifice the actual... Um, uh, Mutual Generator boosts as well by playing the Iris there instead. Um, additionally, if you're able to draw the Iris as companions now, that does give you a nice little tutor to get something like a... Gerha or Decree or something. Okay, uh, because yeah, in case like the Radovid dies, you only have two actual leaders to try and hand fix him. Okay, so nice pickups for Skedagi there. No location. But yeah, still missing a location, good point. I'm pretty impressed with today's player's performance, uh, finding the neutral cards, for example, in the Erland. I, I guess it's only Danirai playing uh, Erland today. Yeah. But pretty, pretty well done on the Shoops and Tradeas. Uh. Oh, yeah. I think he said Shoop like every game, and that's in particular like the one unit you can't shoot with either Leader or Decree. What, what unit? The one card, I guess, because it's itself, it's a special. There's early Blood Eagle into a Warlord. Do you think Warriors have enough firepower here, though? To contest? I'm not sure. I'm, yeah, if, if I were to make a call on the spot, it, it goes to Erland. Yeah. I would probably uh, agree with you a bit more there. Uh, a bit more. Yeah, I'd, I'd agree with your reasons. Oh, wow, look. Even uh, Broken Engine developed immediately. Yeah. So good, so good. Uh, might just get slashed, potentially, or... Yep, slash perfectly removes it. So it feels a little bad. Uh... 
I mean, okay, this Kedroni Revenant would die straight away, but it would be so mm. cute if it was able to stick and start nice. dealing with these sirens, corrupting them into human cursed units somehow. Yeah, if only there was a insta zeal. Well, maybe, maybe we, should, we should start playing like Ethereal. <laughs> yeah, spin back Ethereal. I mean, can't can make it right. Nobody believed him though. But he, he he converted that ethereal into a spot on the Master's final stage, so that's nice. Yeah, it's, I still can't get over that. It's like just one of the stories of the ages. It was, uh, yeah. I, well, I don't think I'm mistaken. Yeah, we were casting that with Celia also. So, n nice experience to see a player bring a deck like this. Yeah. To the dungeon. Maybe a slight okay, mistake the... made. Okay, so Radovid, Radovid's rate of survival is not great today, but by the looks of it, with tier beating plate, uh, he actually manages to to bring another click, another charge for the spinster maneuvers. Great job, Radovid. Yeah. Well, if you look at the graveyard, I don't think you're really that scared of the tier here. But, uh, yeah. Okay, well, I might, might, might as well. Might as well just deal with that. But, yeah, speaking of the graveyard, there's a Brock Yeah, water. I think. I'm pretty sure that is a bit of a mistake there. I'm mm. not sure if it'll matter, but. You definitely could have saved the Ansays for the last say here. That tier wasn't getting a significant amount of additional value. So, uh, yeah. So what's the Wabjorn has double primal savagery and getting slash not, uh, not a problem. Oh, look, Revenant. Is coming. It's coming for Pretty those healthy. sirens. No rain to deal with that. And we see yeah. the instant. The serve so. is forced out. So, how big is this Ireland? <clears throat> Looking at the amount of buffs uh, this was wasn't as big of a mutual generator as we witnessed before there is a dg party happening in deck though <laughs> i love it DJ. carefully lest this semester be your last oh prevenance uh, value of the charts yeah, this is so nice, just using the girl heart to protect the spawn revenant, putting uh, it out of range. This, of... this one potentially is dying to the rain though. If mm. we go for the gutting slash... No, yeah, okay. Bavion would... Uh... Okay. Alternatively, no. Surprisingly, let it live. Like, I mean, you are not guaranteed Bav to get the kill, so... Yeah, and I guess it could slightly backfire in that case. <laughs> I don't know, I just have like this image in my head of like these warriors just not being able to kill these sirens like quick enough. So they're just like sad, like they come back to Skelly with like their heads hanging low because like all these sirens they are hunting just turn into these cursed revenants. You can uh, write a short story about that. <laughs> okay, so finally the Revenant infestation, infestation is uh, over. At long last. A witcher with no honor is and, no brother Yeah, that's an uh, honest 16 point play by Magpie here, putting himself at the 73. Derland uh, with 10 units only, but yeah, we see the DJs uh, got a bit beefed up. Yeah, 
I think Ellen should be big enough here that you don't need to go for some crazy shoot, right? Is it? 10, 10 units? Uh, yeah, yeah. That, that's, yeah just that's a go lot. Go consistent. <laughs> don't risk it. That's a lot. Big Ellen. Then down. Ties it up. 2 to 2. Yeah, so what is the point gap in the end? 13. Uh, yeah, I don't think there was. Unlucky. There was much to do, and yeah, as you pointed out, that uh, unsays was dealt with quite fast. I don't think that yeah. really matters, especially since Steer would be able to generate a couple more points. Leader ability to regenerate it might be clutch here for Danirai, but uh, yeah, my guy wants to see his. Uh, and he sees double Warlord already available. It's always a good start. I feel like they've gotten better at drawing Warlords as we've as these games have gone on tonight. Yeah, we need to check the decks. Maybe oh. they're playing like five Warlords per deck. And we just didn't notice. Ooh, Brit Mage Assassin for Denner yeah, is a little no, unfortunate. No companions once again. Only hand is, Look, for ramp on hand this is pretty decent for Magpie, I'd say. But very, very bronze heavy. Um has to get good draws to draw into like the key golds for like the next two rounds for sure. Then it uh, early once Ramon. again decides to go for Ramonia. Yep. Yeah, so I think we're going to be pushing hard for, for a win on even here for Danarai. Um, I'm not sure if you'd rather push the round two, try to catch the Warlords um, when they've not had time to trigger their deploys um, earlier throughout the game and establish all their carryover. Or if you'd rather just let them do their thing and go into a long round three, say, I can build up my board enough with Triss, but I'm fine, I don't care about uh, your damage as much. Okay, but, uh, so we see, already. we see an investment. Yeah. Oh, half the leader, two engines, and yeah, this armor is uh, huge. Denying the rate card value. Most of it, anyway. Yeah, looks uh, largely useless here, except you probably do want to keep one to deal with the tier. Yeah. Uh, there is a second lock in deck though, so you just need to find that by the time tier comes around knocking. Yeah, and as desperate me measure, of course, there is a uh, Vilgefortz available, but yeah. I prefer uh, yeah. just locking it since uh, the Skellige deck almost never runs a Purify. Like, people tried, but Gremist is just actively bad. Yeah, to be yeah, but even, yeah, like in this kind of list, it's just not synergistic. Yeah, you'd much rather save the Vilga Forts for the Toll Warrior yeah. that the tier brings back. Just lock your doors against tier. That's the advice I'd give. But, yeah, what is Danirai doing? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it is bad, but there we go. You are ahead. Your engines yeah. are doing stuff. Although now your engines kind of don't have targets to interact with. Yeah, and they work now. Yeah, these slave drivers are looking not great. Fight for the Emperor and you might be free! I'm not so sure like these damages are that great either for Magpie. Although the silver lining here is that since these light cavaliers have been killing a bunch of these four provision warriors, the War of Clans is already online for Magpie. Like you could very well just use it here and uh even bring back a warrior if you so choose. Yeah, the activation of War of Clans is pretty sweet. Having Blood Eagle, well, you can go for Vabjorn if necessary for even more points is nice as well. So, 
battle of uh, somewhat bron bronze hands but that yeah it, it never stops we see that Danny Rice decided to invest Renfri gank into this round as well yeah and now the champions charge got in slash uh, feeling kind of mediocre so I have to go for the blood eagle this kind of Vapi or no Brockvar Warrior, I think the most likely choices here. Um, yeah, Vapion. Kevin Vapion in the graveyard. Quite <laughs> nice. And we are going all in on the points here. Can Danny Rai amass, well, with leader charges, I guess, then is a possibility. Yeah, I think you need both leaders here, though. Because this uh, Uncrate Warrior this will just die for four damage. Yeah, so that would be a tie. Yeah, okay, so that's around one. Yeah. The, the, the hand is kind of decent to start with here for Danaro. But uh, as the round progressed, it started getting into things that were awkward and didn't have great um, either targets or just situations to be used. Like this Norsecut, this Wilgerfort, these slave drivers were really sad with their actual units for these light coveries they copied to properly target. Hey, okay, all in we go. Yeah. Um, well, um, yeah. Okay. And Wilgerfort, what can you do? Wilg should do it no matter what, right? Unless it gets so. It cannot oh, get God. golds. Oh, okay. No, yeah, fine. with that's, bronzes there is fine. a replacement it, of a six for six, so that's enough by a couple. Yeah, I'm gonna unless, keep forgetting you can't pull. <laughs> unless stars and we even go for that. Okay. And that's cute because that's Iris uh, gets triggered yeah. immediately. Yeah, and also just thin out a bronze. Like, your bronzes aren't great here. You'd much rather just try and guarantee access to your key golds. So that's the one uneven. Uh. Iris's companion. <laughs> Is it playable here? Maybe. That Vilge could have pulled the gold, right? Yeah. I... Okay. Come on! Show us what you got! Okay, so there's one res. Look, if you're able to just get ahead here and force out the serve or leader, that would be amazing. Um. Where's the map maker? Wine will come from here. Not Wait, doesn't trigger a major assassin, so just going for the carryover? Probably yes. put Renfrey. Put Renfrey. That yeah. issue. Yeah, and this kind of does signify to Magpie that this isn't going to be a huge push. I can just Blood Eagle, just get ahead. Now this is a big decision. If Danarai commits this mm. Nausicaa, feels wrong, it will get Sov. And considering Blood Eagle is the access to Sov, maybe you're hand reading here that this last card is surf because otherwise you wouldn't spend the blood eagle you'd uh, rather spend how, how would you feel about the tier being played as a response for your nausicaa mm -hmm. on the dead blow uh that would be not great right yeah that would be not great i guess it's a risk that danarai is going to take and i think you'd agree that it pays off here Yeah, tier would have been very bad there. I think you just do, yeah, a few leaders. At this point, you don't care about the bloodthirst. Um, so you're just trying to minimize the points that your leader will give to the opponent side of the board here. And just uh, come down very much to a point slammy round three. Gonna come down to top decks. To win, I think Magpie really needs to draw for Kusha, Tia, Location. Okay, one, two, 
Ah, uh, lemon. Okay, you got wow. you got your Christmas <laughs> present, but for some reason you you gave it to Magpie. Uh, wanna I don't know. Don't gamble. It's misleading. You think you got the numbers correctly once. Uh, your four, your nine, and your location, but uh, ah, nice nice pickups from both players. Yeah, both both players have drawn well. So Magpie definitely has to play around uh, offensive trees with his best ability. Yeah, what do you sacrifice here? Probably, yeah, location. location <laughs> Maybe didn't matter you drew it. <laughs> you are expecting the uh, yeah, offensive trees. It doesn't matter if you remove a unit from opponent's side of the board. Yeah. So okay. six damage mm -hmm. is already there. More damage. Split six damage. Denerai is very good unless he doesn't feel like he needs the damage. No, it doesn't yeah. go for it. Does go for the boosting lowest unit. Interesting. I mean that well, that is very nice iron. against this leader. It's like an extra nine points. And um, you, you go Fukusha huh? and yeah, just mean, kill like, both sirens on the front row here. Oh yeah, for sure. Uh, okay, that's not available anymore. If uh, if Daniray plays front. But he might not mm. uh, want because he wants the value from his trees. Yeah. Like at the moment the rose has played. Although you always know that you are getting like 10 damage through overall. Which runestone do you believe in? Skelligan, Skelligan. Yeah, for what? Bear? Creation bear is not bad with the Triss. Two, six, seven, eight, nine. Uh, so you could res a 12 point warlord here. Um, or go for a Fabion into a uh, nine damage guarding slash. Which would be 11 points. But it's probably the better play here because you're able to deny Trist value. This is so bad so, if yeah, you're going he... for the rain on the front row, like, you're just lining up offensive trees. But uh, you, like, points do yeah. look like it's it's too much. Oh, Skirigi to handle. So, is it? Yeah. So you get 13 more. Yeah. Oh wait, yeah, there was the extra. Ooh, there oh. was the adjacent unit damage as well. Wow. So the math was not particularly correct, but Magpie turns out to be the winner. Congrats, Pozdravle! Magpie, Magpie, Maladets. <laughs> okay, so yeah, close series. We managed to get a five uh, game one. And that's winner takes all five. Magpie takes all. GG Matol. Nice uh, organization. Nice play from all four participants. And yeah, we got close games, not so close games. We got disconnects. We got puns from Lemon. <laughs> which is uh, like half the reason to watch.